All right, putting the transducer in, uh, customer StarCraft. We're doing a split transducer, a high speed and the uh, mega side down imaging. The high speed works really well at high, well, at high speed, so you don't lose your uh, bottom read. And then the side and down is more when you're slowly going at uh, slower speeds. So we're just feeding it through. Some transducers, uh, some of the boats have areas where you can shoot the uh, cables down. This one has a nice little path that we're gonna follow to the front of the boat. All right. Lock it in there. Okay. All right. Move the seat so I can get my big fat belly by the steering wheel down on the floor here. Now I got to feed it up into in the dash. We took the dash out to. All right. I go back this way. Shorten it up a little bit. There we go. That's simple. <laughs> nice thing, now I can have a sleep. What do we use in a ball mount? Yeah, because I can't, how are you going to put a swing arm in here? Because it's like this. Ooh. Yeah, there's a plastic piece in there, but we'll reinforce it. It's the eight's going on here, the nine's going up front. Well, now let's go mount that transducer in the back, pull the cables, and then we mount the machines. Um, and one more cable to pull. Well, that's the ethernet cable. Just gotta figure out which entrance point I can use to get this cable through. 10,000 wires in here and it just bundled up like a, I only say a dog's breakfast, but. It's through there, Gord. You want to just move, wiggle it around and see? Okay, pull it out. And just leave it right there. Just leave it right there. Okay, I just need some cable. I'll feed it through here, down, and through that hole, and we'll take it up. What do we need? About a 15 footer should do it, eh? You're pretty damn close. Yeah, we should be okay. this job you have to be very flexible and nimble. I am not. All right, we'll go to the back and do the transducers first. And let the boat sort of sit and level this way. And kind of out of whack that way. So, we take another floor jack. Perfect, all right. Take our little plumb weight. We hang it at the back of the transom, like so. It's about a foot down. And it says it's three inches away from the transom. So we walk over to our little chart. And three inches uses number one on your transducers. You'll have one, two, three, four, five. You wanna put the two little, two little knobby ends on the number one, and it gives it the right click so if you don't get it like this or like this when you click it it should be straight and what I'm talking about is these 
little knobs here right at the end that stick out. So we want to put it on here on the number one so it's lined up like that. So when we put them on, there you go. There. Now we put our, our nut and bolt together. Never fails every time I use stainless. Always likes to seize, so I use this lovely gray stuff, anti-seize, because it seems like every time I turn the bolt in two turns, they seize, so this prevents that. Don't get it on your clothes, because you'll never get it off. Evident in some of my shirts that still have gray stains in them. There. We'll tighten that up after. Now, what I do is I take this, snap it in, take my pencil, take my tape. Now I go like this. I take the blades of the uh, uh, motor and I have them like this. I go right in the middle of them and I go 15 inches. Should be right about there. Just on the outside of the bolt. This is for your side and down imaging. It has all the transducers in it, but due to the bottom of some boats, we can't get it to dial in to read at high speed. So we use a high speed transducer in a lot of applications. Cause you just don't get lucky enough to get it to work. So this way the person's boat will work at a high speed. His uh, depth will read. Okay. Tighten it up nice and tight. Don't want this flying off at 40, 50 miles an hour. Okay, got our spot marked. Now we want to drill our pilot holes. Do into this puckboard plastic. Works a lot better. Make sure she's level. Right there. Okay, that one's done. Now we'll put this one over here. I like to keep this transducer just a little off the bottom. So I'll put it up a little bit higher, just about right there. Again, about midway in between. Make sure this one's level. Perfect. Why we like these puck boards on back, that way if you have to make any adjustments, you're not drilling a pile of holes into your boat like a lot of people freak out about doing. So we like to tell them to use these puck boards and then you don't have that. If you make the mistake, it's easy enough to correct. More anti seize. All right. Same thing with this. See if she's level. There you go. Beauty. All right. Tie up the wires here. Go up underneath here. There. All right, now start pulling the wires to the front. You can put this back together here. Here. There. Transducer mounted. What it should look like. All right. Now to put this all together. He wanted it right here because this is where he sees it. He wants to look so he can lay it down. So we'll put it right here, up, and then lay it down. Put it more over here so you can get the lid up kind of when he turns it. We'll put this together. Ram mounts have a cable management cover, they call it. 
and we can bolt this on top and we can bring our cables out of there so we don't have holes all over the place. Yeah, you should be able to move that, no problem. And then just drill the hole out and put it here, and then I could cover that right up, like right there. We'll run the power through there. Yeah, we should be able to run the power and everything through there, and I could screw right into that plate. Because if, if you look at, if I do this, there, it works, right? Yeah, and you'll be able to stand it up and even move it that way if you want to. Yeah, like if, even if I don't put the power through there, at least I can still screw it down. Yeah. You know? Okay. too high well you can always drill the holes and add this after yeah depending on yeah you gotta make sure you drill the right way yeah i just put it so that they're coming out the back so you want it like that the three holes because then it can come out the back put that thing in there see what i got this way move your no no move your head yeah that kind of because you should be able to turn it and go Okay, move your hand and see where I am at. I probably could do right there. The lines could probably come through. If I did it like that, it'd be perfect. Because then I could still, I could hit all, all this plastic here underneath. Should be able to go down the holes and make a little mark too. Quarter inch. Fill this one out. Yeah, that's how I tried to line it up. We have some backing. see if this is all gonna work in theory it should bolt it down beautiful and then we if we want we can go this way and if he wants to go this way he can go this way or this way or he can go this way. yeah and you can take the lever to the other side oh you gotta love when it works that's why they pay us the big bucks to make it look pretty. Yeah, and I'll tie this up and then hook up the power and she's done, pretty much. Transducers in the back are done. Just gotta, yeah, run the power through here. Actually, I'll do that right now before I put these bolts in. Okay, I need a dongle, I need my power, and I need my transducers. And then I can top that off, put that up. A couple zip ties are finished. This is the Y cable that we're putting on the transfer. This is the two transfers that we installed in the back of the boat. They're coming to the front. And we are putting what they call Y cable. When the Y cable goes up and now marries it up, puts it in the back of the machine, and it thinks it's all one transducer when you do that. Your Ethernet cable, the Tox, two transducer cables linked. I think this folded over nicely. And we've got porcupine quill sticking out. I like to lay them there really nice.
All right, just the power and the power for that, and I'm done. The baby's all done. I'll screw that one down there. Just gotta see if this has got power. Now the moment of truth. Does it actually work? We have liftoff. Wow, beautiful. All right. Like we've never been there. Plug it in the back for now, just to link it up. We'll get them both going and show you how to make them work and talk. All right, when you're doing these machines, what you want to do, you have them linked. You have a host, which is this one on the dash, and that's the uh, feeding off the, off the hose. So what we want to do first is get the host going, get her fired up. This one's running, I will fire this one up. See if we got some power here. You have the Helix 8, which is the host. The 2D transducer is the one that's on the trolling motor, so we want that to read for the 9. Down imaging, we want it for the Helix 8 because it's at the back. Side imaging, same thing, go down, check mark the 8, back up. We don't have to make a live on here. Temperature, we want it off the back transducer. Same with the two. And then we go to uh, GPS, off the nine. You want to leave it on its own. And there you go. This thing here, when you're, this is reading off of the transducer. You can feel it on here. And when you go to the next view, your down imaging is off the back along with the side. Another successful install. Now our customer can go out there and get some fish with his Humminbird Helix 8 side and down imaging, Helix 9 CHO. Thank you. As they say in show business, my work here is done. <laughs>